continue to fill this massive sinkhole near Scott Lake. It opened up Friday and at one point it was 75 feet wide. The area on the south side of Lakeland has a history of sinkholes. Actually, back in 2006, sinkholes under Scott Lake drained the water from the lake, damaging homes and sinking a gazebo. And this isn't just an issue in Polk County. This is a map from the U.S. Geological Survey and the tan color on this map shows the specific kind of land that is more prone to sinkholes. You can see it's highly concentrated in the Heartland area, also right along Florida's Gulf Coast. Tonight, ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell is going in depth. She spoke with people who live near the sinkhole and shares how you can see if you're at risk. Work is underway on that sinkhole that opened last week, and we're hearing from legal experts about the sinkhole problem in Florida and what you need to know as a homeowner. Ever since we have been on edge a little bit. Jack Hall lives steps away from where a sinkhole opened near Scott Lake Road and Fitzgerald Road on private property in Lakeland. He's been a building contractor for 35 years, so he knows quite a bit about sinkholes and what they do. Ultimately, I'm not worried about it on my property, but being 42 feet from my back property line, they've talked to me a few times about having me leave. It's an issue Florida homeowners need to keep in mind. You always want to do your due diligence prior to purchasing. I spoke to Stephen Hatchie, a local real estate attorney. He said if you're a prospective purchaser or a buyer at the time of entering contract, make sure you request a seller's disclosure from the seller. One of the questions on the seller's disclosure is has there ever been any sinkhole activity on the property? Um, if they check Yes, then obviously you're now aware. Hatchie's other recommendation is to hire a licensed home inspector prior to closing on the property. That inspector can take a look at the property and see if there are things like cracked tiles or cracks in the walls. If that appears, uh, typically the recommendation would be hire a inspector that's familiar with sinkholes and then ultimately that inspector can go out and definitively say, is there a sinkhole or not a sinkhole? If you already own a home and have a problem with a sinkhole, Hatchie advises you check in with your insurance company. Unfortunately, due to the amount of sinkholes that are occurring in Florida, uh, the majority of times the insurance company will not cover sinkholes but I would certainly uh, want to reach out to ask. Words of wisdom as more people settle down in the Sunshine State. I think it won't be long before they have us fixed up. While neighbors wait for the work here to be complete. In Lakeland, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.